Hey everyone, Cheapton here with another Cheapton video, uh, Windows versus Linux part two, and hopefully this will put the rest of the argument. I know I'm going to have my critics in the comments, but I don't even think they're worth answering. So here we go. Four more reasons why Windows beats Linux hands down. Number one, no company with salaried employees that's generating intellectual property is going to trust their work in the hands of an open source system. It's just not going to happen. You know, it's just too risky. You know, people talk about how Windows is the target for hackers. Well, just imagine if the hackers knew that the intellectual property and the big money was coming from Linux systems being used. I can guarantee you all the hackers would switch to hacking Linux systems. I mean, that that's kind of a no-brainer right there. And reason number two, Lots of Linux isn't really even free. Red Hat Linux isn't free. And, you know, if you order a CD from Amazon, that's not free. Uh, you know, the only way it's free is if you download it. But as I explained in the last video, you're taking a risk with getting malicious code because you don't know who programmed it. You don't know what server it came off of. So you're taking a risk there. Uh, reason number three it's not really more stable than Windows. Windows just gets the bad reputation because everyone uses it and everyone runs into the same problems. Understand that your computer is a machine, just like a car is a machine, and you know it overheats every now and then. If you're playing heavy video games and it's an older computer, a lot of the time it's just an overheating issue. Like it's winter now, and I'm running my computer running hardcore games in my room, I always open the window, and I've never had my computer freeze up or crash on me when I had the window open. I mean, computers are like cars, they need air to cool down, and you know, you're relying on atmospheric air, you, you can't just rely on having fans alone, because if your room's hot, your computer's going to be hot on the inside too. So, use common sense, you know, use your computer in an air-conditioned room or in a cool basement, or if it's winter, open up a window, and that'll take care of most of your crashing issues. I've had that happen. Every time I have my window open in the winter and I'm running games, it never, ever crashes. Every time I shut it and I'm running games for like two and three hours in a row, it always crashes. So just keep that in mind. And finally, reason number four, Linux is based off of the old Unix, which was... Um, something that Bell Labs came up with back in a long time ago, and it's just totally obsolete. You can't, you know, businesses that have salaried employees can't generate significant amounts of data off of it. I mean, asking, asking a Windows user to go back to Linux would be like a school board member asking the school district to go back to the one-room schoolhouse. You know, there's too many people in the world, there's too much data being generated, and it'll never happen, you know. It's, I mean, that's that's what it would be like. Uh, Linux just happens to be great for sitting on data, on servers, and organizing it properly. It's just not very good at generating data, and that's where Windows comes in. This is why, this was why it would be suicide if these big businesses that are generating these intellectual properties would go back to Linux because it just simply can't handle uh, generating data like Windows does. Uh, so hopefully this puts the arguments to rest. I know it won't for most people, the, the basement dwellers and the other people who think they're clever or something. They don't understand how the real world works. My critics don't understand how the real world works. And so, uh, so uh, I'm going to look through the comments. Hopefully there's some intelligent comments in there, but I know there won't be. But for right now, this is Cheeb out.